Buongiorno. I am Alessandro from Italy. And I am a member of the Tusak Jumper family. The red jumper is our sign of the finest quality. So you can enjoy our authentic taste. Delizioso. I come from Venezia and I am a light-bodied wine with a pleasantly soft palate and a long finish. Discover my apple and pineapple aromas. Behind my clear straw yellow color, have me with light appetizers, fish and seafood. Godere, godere. Hey everybody, as you saw from the intro, today I'm reviewing another wine from Two Sock Jumper. This is their No Vintage Pinot Grigio. It's from Venezia, Italy. It is an IGT, believe it or not. It is 12% alcohol by volume, and as I said, if I'm getting these, they're probably not sold in the US yet. However, Two Sock Jumper sells in 66 countries, so it doesn't hurt to go by their website and or check your favorite wine store to see if they're available if you're interested to know what the price is. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. First of all, screw top plus one. And um, it's interesting because uh, the first few we did was with uh, Bernard um, and they were French. And so I guess each region kind of has their own um, different animal. It's like regional spirit animals. I guess. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and get to the color of this wine. Um, well, I don't use straw in my analysis because I'm W set. I don't go through the psalm. Um, however, though, I am going to say you are a medium yellow. No artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, so on the nose. Man, they weren't lying about that pair. Whoa, 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 whoa. Interesting. I'm getting like a little bit of like a, a little bit of an apricot. But the other thing I'm getting on it too is I'm getting... Petroleum. It's like almost has like a slight reason, reason, rieslingy, rieslingy. If that's actually a word. Note. Yeah, it's. If you could put this in front of my face, I might not have told you. I thought it was a Pinot Grigio. I would have. I would have kind of leaned more towards some sort of riesling blend. I wouldn't have said it was a single varietal. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, and on top of that, I am getting a reasonable amount of the alcohol in the nose, even though it's 12% ABV. So. I'm not sure what that says, um, but you know what? Let's get to the taste and see how it presents. So, medium plus acid actually has about a medium body. It's a little bit heavier than the average Pinot Grigio that I tend to buy in a review on my own. Yeah, medium plus acid, medium body, um, medium alcohol. There's a, it is off dry. It is not a bone dry Pinot Grigio. There's definitely some residual sugar there, which probably is one of the reasons why it has that medium body. If it was lower in the sugar, maybe it was picked a little bit fresher, so the acid was a little bit higher. Uh, there's a little less uh, sugar in the grapes. Then uh, it probably would have ended up with a medium minus, or maybe even a light body. Um, but this does have a little bit more weight to it than your typical Pinot Grigio. In terms of an intensity, is it, a, it is about on par where it needs to be. The nose intensity is about medium to medium minus. Uh, the palette intensity solidly at a medium uh, and the finish is a medium minus finish it almost is a clean finish except for that pear and that lemon those hang on and going into the mid palette and the lemon actually persists into the finish a little bit uh, but it's actually not a bad sort of lemon finish a lot of lemon finishes that i have had in the past they can kind of get astringent um, or get a little um uh, oily. In, in this case, this one is actually just kind of a lemon juice finish. It goes all the way into the end. Uh, so that is quite nice. Uh, the apricot though hits you on the approach and goes away almost instantly. Yeah, as it's transitioning into the mid palate, it just says goodbye or ciao. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and get to the blick. Uh, in terms of balance, I'm going to give you half a point. I need more acid. I need more acid on this wine with that type of residual sugar and body. Uh, I need I need something to kind of cut through that sugar a little bit more. Or I wish you were picked, like I said, I kind of wish you were picked a little bit earlier. Um, let those grapes have a little bit more 
naturally high acid, a little less sugar, a little bit of a, more of a lighter body wine. When I drink, think of Pinot Grigio, I kind of think of like, I'm, I'm drinking it by a pool or like have some light snacks or I'm, I'm tossing it with some like hors d'oeuvres and stuff like that. I'm not necessarily um, like thinking of this as like, I'm gonna sit down and have this with a reasonably hearty meal, which this could probably support. So if you're in a really heavy Pinot Grigio, I got that for you. Um, for me, it's not my cup of tea in terms of that type of body, so I have a point. That's a really long way of getting the balance. Length, I'm gonna give you no points. Medium minus finish. Intensity, medium and medium, I'm gonna give you a half a point. In terms of complexity, um, normally I'm looking at primary, secondary, winemaking, you know, stuff like that. In this case, I have to kind of take the varietal and the way that it's made uh, in an area into account. And so what I'm gonna basically say is I'm gonna give you half a point because I am getting some red fruit, I'm getting a little bit of citrus, I am getting that apricot. Um, so I am gonna go ahead and say you do have some um, depth in terms of what I'm expecting out of you, but it's not like I'm getting a ton of notes beyond those. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you half a point. So in the end, you have one and a half points. I'm gonna go ahead and give you okay. Um, the thing with this is if it had more acidity, then so that way it kind of helps support that residual sugar and the heft of the body a little bit more, then I think this wine would have really fallen into a good category. Um, I just feel like that, that acid was lacking and that was the thing that held this back. But uh, it's not something that you'd pour down the drain. It's borderline, depending on how you like your Pinot Grigios. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Two Sock Jumper Pinot Grigio? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below and I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.